Hey everyone, it's Brody at Everything Board Games. Hayward Games sent me Darkness the Card Game, so let's get it to the table. Darkness is a strategic card game for two to five players where you compete to become the most powerful mystic. The game is a set collection game that uses a card selection mechanic where you collect artifacts and relics. The mechanics remind me of a simplified mix of Splendor, Seven Wonders, and Sushi Go, yet it's still its own unique game. Every player will start with a hand of 15 cards that consists of three cards of five different colors. These are called the Animal Spirit cards. You will use these cards each round and you will always get them back. To set up, you are going to remove some artifact cards and then depending on how many players you are, you will have a certain number of artifact cards and relic cards that you're going to lay out. The artifact cards are set in a circle where the relic cards are set above. We will be playing with four players and so we will have four relic cards and then we were going to remove six random artifact cards. In our circle we're going to have ten artifact cards. You play the game in six rounds and in each round you're going to play a total of six cards. First everyone's going to pick three cards to play and when everyone is done picking you will all flip over at the same time. You'll be able to look and see what everyone has and after studying everyone else's cards everyone is then going to pick two more cards that they're going to lay out face down. When everyone is done they will flip those over and can study everyone else's cards again. Lastly you will play one more card. You'll play it face down when everyone is ready. You will all flip over your cards at the same time and you will have a total of six cards. You're competing with the other players to collect certain artifacts and relics. Artifacts will be given to the player with the most number of animal spirit cards that are matched with the same color of the main color of that artifact card. If there is a tie, which there will be, between players of the main colors, then whoever has the most animal spirit cards of the secondary color will get that artifact. There might be ties again. If that happens, then no one will get the artifact. Again, if there is a tie for the main color and the secondary color, then no one will get that artifact and it will get discarded. You will then go around and see which artifacts go to which players by looking at the main color and again, if there's a tie, looking at the secondary color. With the relics, you would need to have played five of the colors on that card. If there is a tie, then no one wins it and it'll stay out for future rounds. Let me go over the different type of relics that you can get. You can gain a ring relic. This can be used at the end of any future round and is a one-time use card. You can replace one of your animal spirit cards that you've already played with a different card that's in your hand. This is nice to do because you can look at all the other players cards and you can figure out which cards you need to add to win certain artifacts. You can gain a mask relic and is a one time use card. This can be used before the first play phase. So you will leave the two of the three cards face down so that opponents can't see them when you're first playing your animal spirit cards. They will remain down until the very end of that round. This is helpful because other players won't know what you're trying to go for. Lastly, you can gain a gem relic. Gem relics will give you three points at the end of the game. Now while playing, a darkness card might appear in the artifact deck and be placed in your circle. This card doesn't offer any points, but it can be cleared if you play the four colors that are on top of that card. After artifacts are handed out and the darkness card is still there, it'll get set aside to what's called the veil. If there are ever three of those darkness cards collected in the veil, then darkness falls and every player will discard their collected artifact cards down to the number of cards held by the player with the fewest of them. This is a great catch-up mechanic used in the game and it helps to form a strategy of collecting sets instead of collecting the most cards possible, which still is a good decent strategy. After six rounds, you will then score your sets. Remember it's important to gather the same type of card as they will score you more points at the end of the game. You'll take the number of points that you got with your sets and add them to any gems that you might have gotten. The player with the highest score wins. I like how this game gives every single player the opportunity to collect the same exact cards. There is no first player and there are no abilities that might give someone an advantage over someone else. Everyone has the exact same chance. I feel like there should be an easier way to track rounds as we kept on forgetting how many rounds we had played so far. The game plays two to five players, but the strategies are definitely different when there are more players than when there are less. The card size is very small, which I'm not a fan of. I would rather have the normal size cards, although my wife really liked that the smaller cards fit in her hand a lot easier so that she could hold all the cards. But the size does make it a little easier to carry around and it can fit nicely in a backpack or in a glove box in a car or sit nicely on your game shelf. Overall, it's a nice little strategic filler game. Again, this is Darkness Card Game from Hayward Games. Kickstarter starts on March 6th, so get ready to back it.